Hello everyone, my name is Leslie. This is a series of Frugal Thoughts. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I wanted to let you know how much I appreciate you watching. And if you are one of my subscri subscribers, thank you so much for being here as well. I uh, am really thrilled by um, the number of comments and how many people have been subscribing. And um, it's very gratifying and it's really wonderful. I wanted to talk to you today about returns, holiday returns of your items. It is something that was my, I believe my second R on a video I had done about how to, um, how to make this uh, next year a more frugal Christmas and this year. It, it was, I think the second R if you did not successfully have a frugal Christmas. And one of the items I had talked about was returning items that um, may have, for whatever reason, not been the right fit or style or design or whatever. Um, I'm, today I'm focusing a little bit more, but also in, involving that, items that um, have come that were not what, you, well, I guess it's the same thing. Items that you, you got in um, online that arrived and you were disappointed in. And I wanted to share with you three items that came. Um, I, I'm not gonna give you the, the, um, the seller, uh, one I will, but the other two, I actually got two empty boxes this year. One was an empty bag and one was an empty box. And um, I couldn't believe the empty box came and I knew what I was expecting and it was so light that I said, I think this is an empty box. And when I opened it, it was an empty box with a piece of um, bubble wrap in it. Um, I immediately took a photo with my camera, with my phone, because I wanted to, I, I have seen that what they do when I've done other returns with this manufacturer now, and a lot of people are doing this, they take a snapshot of the item left on your door as proof that they have left it. And that will actually tell, tell you, um, you what time they left it at your door. I wanted people to see that the, which they could argue perhaps that, oh, she opened it up and took out the item. Um, but I, I op opened it, saw that it was an, saw that it was empty, immediately took a photo of it. And um, so it, it added a little bit of extra um, belief that the, uh, the box had been empty. The second thing I ordered came in like a bubble envelope, uh, like a, and it was flat. It was completely flat. The only thing that was inside of it was the piece of paper. So I was already a little, little suspicious that um, there was a problem. So I took a photo of the sealed envelope to prove that the item that should have gone into it, which I forget what it was, I think it was the top, was not inside. And it was the truth. Um, it is a little hard to prove that you didn't get something because manufacturers, I will tell you, I did this for a company out, located outside of Philadelphia. Um, sometimes, they're, sometimes they kind of don't believe you. And I guess um, if you have done this 10 times, they're not going to believe you. Um, if you've done it once, you know, they may believe. It, it just is amazing to me that people, um, because I've worked in that, in that organization, that after the boxes are packed up, that typically there was some kind of QC. I guess this is just the, due to this crazy pandemic year where it's just hard to get people and staffing shortages and supply. They're just working overtime and we should be so appreciative of that, I am. But I did get two empty boxes. The third item was something that I had ordered um, end of October, which I knew it was going to take a while. I was not paying attention when I did it. I have a shepherd's hook outside, which I may have showed you, and I have hanging baskets through from May to the end of October, these hanging baskets that I keep every year, and I keep the flowers growing um, throughout the winter in my home. And then I bring them out, and I think last year I spent $15 on some extra flowers to kind of make it look fuller. And so it's a shepherd's hook outside, and it's just kind of, it's kind of really in the ground. So I came up with the idea at the end of October to purchase for the holiday season two hanging artificial baskets that I was going to put out on them. Um, I ordered one, and I'm going to give the name. This one was off Amazon. And I should have realized, because it was taking so long to get to me, that this company was um, in a different company. This was in a different country. So I ordered this at the end of October. I did not really receive this until December 10th. And I was expecting two nice-sized hanging baskets with 
the chains, the black chains, and it said pre-lit. So that, um, I guess it was going to run on batteries. I, yeah, I don't remember, but I, it would have had to been on batteries. Pre-lit, and I was pretty excited. I'm going to change this and see if I can change this. It's a little weird angle. Okay, I don't know if that's any better, but... Um, this is what I got, and I will tell you that I was so disappointed and really will say that I have frequent, like my coffee mug is about this, my tea mug is about this size. This is what I got. If you see the bottom, you will see that it is, or look at this, it is not pre-lit. There are no lights on top. I was willing to accept that maybe I misjudged the size, but there's no lights on it. There are no hanging, it, this was supposed to be a hanging basket. There were no hanging straps for me to hang it from my, so at first I was like, wow, I really messed this up. And then um, this is not what I was expecting at all. And then I realized it is actually not what I ordered because it was not pre-lit and it was, there was no hanging straps. I, I don't know if this was like a mess up. You can see that the side does not have the, um, the, the hanging straps attached to. Anyway, I immediately went to return this. I paid for the two of them. I think it was $24.97 each, which was a lot, you know, whatever. I was, and with tax and whatever, it came to like $54. So I immediately applied for a return through Amazon. I was initially told that I did not qualify for a return. Then they said, and then I looked and it said, well, wait a minute, I heard something about this A to Z guarantee. It is a more complicated process, but I believe Amazon does do a good job of accepting returns, even of the manufacturer. And what happens if, if the manufacturer of this item, because obviously if you are familiar with Amazon, Amazon no longer has everything in their own warehouse. They do use other manufacturers. This would be, I hate to say it, like a black mark against this manufacturer for either misrepresenting or sending me the wrong item. I don't think that they're gonna be um, completely kicked off Amazon, I doubt. But, but just because I asked for a return, but if 14,000 people ask for a return, that is something Amazon wants to know because they are looking for really high quality um, sellers. So that is my little story about my holiday returns. I am always amazed, and if I did not say that, if I already said this, I apologize, how many friends of mine do not um, return items because they feel like they can't, they don't want to be bothered. It's just a pain in the rear end and whatever. So if you either purchase something online and it came, um, you either got an empty box or an empty package or you just, what you ordered was absolutely not what you wanted. Please um, make sure that you follow through. It is a great way to, um, I, I guess, save money or conserve your money because no one wants to spend money on um, something or put money into something if they did not um, get what they what they, what they had ordered. This is Leslie. Welcome back to my channel if you are one of my subs uh, subscribers and thank you so much for watching. If you are new, please let me know if you've ever received an empty box <laughs> from any manufacturer. Um, I will tell you that when I was a manufacturer, when I worked in, I, not manufacturer, when I worked for a retail organization, we did have people call us and say that the item um, was not anywhere what they, re, you know, what they um, ordered. And so accidents do happen. We're all human. I do understand that. And also, as an aside to that, um, I had three of my neighbors contact me in the last four weeks that packages I had ordered were delivered. Two was at the street one over and the other, my, one of my neighbors right next door had a package delivered for me. So if um, you do not get a package and if you are expecting something, don't, um, don't give up. You can possibly, it may be coming. Um, and years ago, which is interesting, I had a Christmas that I at the last minute saw that I think it was Brooks Brothers was having um, an amazing sale on hat, glove, and scarf sets. And I ordered, I think it was like $5. I ordered them for my children. I never got them. I called the organization um, and I said, can you please, you know, I never got them. And they said, well, we are showing it was delivered. I said, okay, I never got them. I They reimbursed me my money 
speak and I just said, oh, that's a shame. I, you know, whatever. About six weeks later, a woman who's on that street, <laughs> Lisa, contacted me and said, Leslie, I am watching the house next door. And I just noticed that on their side porch, there is a box addressed to you, a pretty big, heavy box. And um, that may have been sitting there for a while. She was going out and checking on the mail and packages. And this is actually addressed to you. So I went over and had my husband go over and pick it up. And it was the scarf, hat, and glove sets from this um, retailer. I immediately called them and said, hey, I want to... Um, I got a refund of these, but now I have them and I don't, you know, whatever. So you have to do the right thing. Um, I did let them know that I actually had re received them, even though it was six weeks late and I hadn't been able to give them to, to my boys for Christmas, but it's not fair if you um, do subsequently ex um, get something. And so I was able to, the, I had to walk the guy th on the phone through the process because I had done that in the past where people had, when I worked for this retailer, people have said, oh, I didn't get it. And then two weeks, two days later, they say, oh, my neighbor just brought it over. So that is, that is my last part of this, that if you do receive something weeks or days later, make sure you may do the right thing and call the manufacturer and let them know that, or the retailer and let them know that you did receive it. This is Leslie. This is my, um, somewhat long winded, um, video about making returns after the holiday season and I hope you have a happy holiday and happy new year. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.